Good morning, students and staff. I'm Coriella, and I'm back filling in for Shane T. This is Yesenia Vasquez, and we're signing in for G E N. Yo, so that rally was pretty rocking, huh? <laughs> 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 Let's check it out. The second rally of the school year was held on January 29th, but instead of welcoming students back to school, this was a chance for young performers to show off their talent through what USB calls the Rock Off Rally. A gathering such as last Friday's event usually requires USB to dedicate hours of their time to plan and create the perfect rally. Through stress and difficult planning, Carlos Leno says this rally turned out perfect. Every single rally is difficult, but we always pull it together, we always work as a team, USB always works together, and that's how we make it happen. However, the struggles USB goes through does not reflect on the students' reactions. Jenny Estrada felt the excitement in other rallies, but the Rock Off rally gave the most. But I think it was the best rally of all of them, and I think it was the best rally. And why is that? Because the other ones were boring and the seniors were so turnt this year. Rallies take hours of planning and require hard work and dedication. As you saw, this one had many performances, lights, decorations, and music. If you didn't rock out on this one, then you missed out. Cora Ayala reporting for GEN Desert Hot Springs. Can we really make Alfredo pasta with the little shrimps and the sauce and the garlic bread? Can you do that for me? Even though my friends are here? Who are you talking to? Mr. Cole. What are you wearing, Mr. Cole? Uh, a pink apron. She sounds hideous. She's a he, so. Cooking Club is in room 305 at 306, and make sure to be there every Wednesday. Individuals danced, sung, and performed acts as the annual Rock Off Talent Show was hosted on Thursday, January 28th. With 15 different acts, including four class dance acts, first place in the class dance went to the seniors. The awards didn't stop there. Third place in the talent show was awarded to Victor Pardo and Nadia Hernandez, and second place was given to Alejandro Jimenez. Out of all 15 acts, first place was awarded to junior Shane Tate, who performed his own choreographed dance piece. Emotions ran wild through him as the first place recipient was called. When I got first place, honestly, like, I couldn't believe it when my name was called. Nothing like this ever happened to me, and I've been dancing a long time. It's just an honor to be here, and I thank my family, my friends, and my mom who's watching over me. Even though Shane may be a personal favorite, that shouldn't discourage those from portraying what keeps them moving. Mr. Tate himself has a few words to say to those wanting to showcase their talents. You have potential, show it. Because if you keep it, if you keep it low and you don't, if you don't fulfill your potential, no one will ever see it. Actually perform as an entire audience watch. This year's talent show is just a lot more than singing and dancing. Some people put their entire lives in front of a crowd like this. If you wish to be a part of something like this, make sure auditions for next year's talent show. I'm Adrian Pacheco, reporting for GEN. Me and Angela walked around today at lunch and asked people questions, but also helped them find a valentine. And this is what we got. Why do you think they made a day about love, but not about single people? To be honest, I don't think Valentine's Day is about love anyways. I think it's for the love of chocolate. And uh, I think it's only me, my girl, and chocolate. That's why I think. And the single people got a day. It's every day, really. Do you wish Valentine's Day didn't exist? Well, you know, my love life is on zero. So, you know, yeah, I wish it never exists because I'm a loner. And I never will have nobody. Can I find you a Valentine's right now? I guess. I don't care. <laughs> Let's go. Can you be her Valentine? Who? Sure. Yeah. I found you a Valentine. Sit with him. Sit with him. So give me five reasons why I shouldn't be your guys' Valentine. Um, because I got. Dude, I, had, I thought you had a girlfriend. We gotta go. Do you care about Valentine's Day? Um, it depends. If I don't have a Valentine's. Um, it doesn't really matter to me, but if I do have Valentine's, you know, yeah, it does matter. So, uh, who are you spending Valentine's Day with this year? Um, my girlfriend, Crystal. Is there any chance I could spend time with you? Um, any day. <laughs> Let's go! Do you wish that Valentine's Day didn't exist? Yeah. Why? Because I never have a Valentine, I'm always lonely. 
So uh, what are you doing for Valentine's Day? Uh, probably just taking my girlfriend out somewhere. Why don't you take me out? All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> On January 25th, our DHSHS campus held their Spirit Week, which consisted of many different topics where all students were able to express their creativity and show off their school spirit. Junior Nadia Hernandez notices the positive side of school spirit and the effect it has on the community of the student body. I'm always spirited because it's fun and the rivalry is pretty cool too. As some would say, Spirit Week is a way for the classes to compete with one another as well as get along with their own class. Sophomore Adan Trujillo makes the most out of his time during his high school career. Uh, Spirit Week's important because I mean like, it's not like something that focuses on your grades or anything, but it's just something that you can just like be, be, be a kid pretty much if that makes sense. Spirit Week is a way for people to express their creativity as well as for all the other classes to get together and be one and happy with each other. I'm Pablo Monero reporting for G-E-N. team had a game on Wednesday. Miss Casillas has more. The fight between the Eagles and the Rattlers for second place in the De Anza League was seen on Wednesday, February 3rd, but our Eagles came out with a loss of 3-0. Ronald Ivan Cruz left mid, loves playing with his teammates and will not give up, although players were missing. We have been practicing a lot all this week to this game because this is this is gonna be a great game for us. Uh, even though we we are gonna miss some players, but I think we we are gonna do a great job today. Due to the last-minute suspension of five players, the Eagles were not confident about the game. But junior varsity players were prepared to move up. Jose Avalos, a player from JV, uses soccer as a motivation in life. Well, when I was, I think I was like 10, I was pretty much overweight, so I just, just you know, started playing soccer, and then as time went on, just starting to get more passionate about it. Well, it felt, felt crazy for a second, you know, because, like, it's varsity. <laughs> I started off on the bench for JV, and just being called up for varsity felt pretty good. The Eagles put their all into this game as they faced off against one of the rivals, the Rattlers. Worst same luck on their last game. And this Casillas reporting for G-E-N. Valentine's Day is about being with the ones you love. Some spend it with their loved ones and others spend it with their family. But this year, it's going to be all about the single people. I hate love! No! Look, another couple! No. Your love disgusts me! Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, I love the smell of cheap flowers in the morning. Well, gotta say, I hate love, I hate you, and I hate Valentine's Day. Where are my single people at? I hate love. Are you in love? Because I hate love. If you're in love, I will destroy you. Love sucks! Let's go be single! Come on. Nope, we're single. We can't do that. Too soon. Happy Valentine's Day to all the single people out there. On February 3rd, the girls' varsity basketball team had a home game against Rancho Mirage, gaining the score of 44-42. Freshman Sharon Millet's key to success is communication. Um, we did pretty good. I think we could have worked harder, but other than that, overall, we did really good. The girls put the crowd through a giant roller coaster of excitement as they keep up the defense. Senior Maria Herrera has been playing basketball for four years. I think we actually worked hard, you know, we worked really hard to get that win. And I'm so proud of the girls because we just didn't want them to beat us and we won and we worked hard. That was our varsity girls taking the win. Make sure you come tomorrow night at 6 for their senior night. I'm Savannah Vidal reporting for G.E.N. I can't even believe my friends convinced me to go to Saturday school. See, ain't nobody even. It's got to be real. What's up, Shawty? Is this Saturday school? Yeah! Claire's one absence. Waste his time 2016. Go to Saturday school.
Saturday school on February 20th in the Commons from 8 to 12 p.m. clears one absence. Your soccer lady Eagles took light on the Rattlers here at our home nest on February 3rd, but were taken down at the last minute with only one goal, placing them fifth in the De Anza League. This year, we have three sisters on JV and varsity soccer teams, two on varsity and one on JV. Freshman Isala Espinosa supports her older sisters on the sideline in every game. They're hardworking and even though like they're both hurt, like kind of, they still work hard. The game was tied 0-0 throughout both halves of the game until the last minute when Macho Morales scored the first and only goal. Sisters Selena Uribe and Annalise Espinosa are finishing their last season of soccer and have advice for their sister Isala. Um, I just feel like she needs to be like more aggressive because JV and varsity it's different you know they're not JV is not like as hard as varsity and varsity it's just fast. If you missed this game make sure you check out the next game as Shadow Hills faces off against our Eagles on Friday February 12th on their senior night. Alright this is Esteban Perez, Jesus Quiroz, and we're reporting for G-E-N. I want to wish you good luck in the rest of your high school soccer career and that I love you. All right, Eagles, that just about wraps it up for this week's show of GEN. I'm Corey Ayala. And I'm Yesenia Vasquez. And we're signing out for GEN. -E oh!